This is an area known as um, Hawker Circle. It's sort of a, um, a sort of a swap meet, so to speak, where a lot of the scum of the earth um, hang out. Um, notice again the the constant Asian reminder here, um, showing you that Asians are often living in poor, um, rather dingy, dingy um, areas of the of the city. Yes, this is um, McCoy's apartment, um, probably one of the more um, pivotal, pivotal areas in the game. Um, you'll notice that if you walk McCoy into the bathroom on the right hand side over there, um, a really, um, really weird thing happens. Um, one of the things the player might not pick up on but is rather important is um, McCoy doesn't wash his hands um, every time he goes to the bathroom. This could um, possibly lead the player to believe that a um, Ray McCoy is a replicant, doesn't care about germs, and you know doesn't need to wash his hands. Or b um, McCoy is just um, kind of a slob. Oh yeah, this is the Chinatown scene with um with Howie's restaurant. Um, you'll notice that Howie is moving his arms in the air. Um, the the thing we we're trying to pull off here was that he was making sushi, but uh, we had a lot of problems with the sushi going bad under the the lights, and um, it just wasn't a good scene. So what you're seeing in the final final version here is um, we had to get rid of a lot of the fish and sushi and um, we're a little disappointed in this area. I'd need an engineer to tell me what all these displays meant, and the only one handy was busy being wallpaper. I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. You take a look at this crime scene? Yeah, it's a real doozy, Slim. Worse than watching Guza eat. Make sure you skip a meal before you go up. Ditto. Can the department float me some chin yen? This investigation's getting expensive. Look, this ain't on the department tab, okay? This is a personal loan. Thanks, Lieutenant. This goddamn city don't know how to manage funds. They've been flush for years. I thought we were under budget. Trust me, ain't nobody getting rich unless they're sneaking some on the side. Hell, I can barely pay for the fuel for my car. Ever hear of public transportation? Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. Can the department float me some chin yen? This investigation's getting expensive. Hey, I'd love to be your own personal ATM, but the department's strapped right now. We're still paying Holden even though he's in the hospital, and one of the old timers is freelancing a contract job. The city can't be paying for your cocktails, kid. Okay, okay, sorry I asked. Hey, you track down a rep, you get an advance. Gee, wish I'd thought of that. Hey. What the hell you been doing out there, McCoy? Wrestling up toe jam? I need results and fast. I'm working on it. That's not good enough. Brian's been crawling up my ass all morning. If you can't cut it, just tell me and I'll reassign the gaster or steel. 
I can handle it. I don't know if you can, McCoy. I really got my doubts. You blow chunks on your first assignment, you can damn near shit-can your future here. Not to mention how it makes me look. I hear ya. Get the hell out of here! And show me that promoting you wasn't a full move. Jesus. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. Don't got time for you now, McCoy. Hit me later. Right. Keeping out of trouble, kid? The goons over at the Tyrell building wouldn't let me talk to their boss. Maybe you can set up a meeting. Tyrell? What the hell for? One of his employees got his brain splattered inside the pyramid. I thought maybe Tyrell could fill in some blanks. Anyone else in that whole company who knows anything? <laughs> you and I both know it's a one-man show over there. Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. We get a new weapon shipment? Look, Jack, I just want to see what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much, if you ask me. Especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. I guess there ain't no harm in it. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece. Don't leave home without it. First time through is always the toughest. Listen for the bell tone. That'll let you know when you're too slow reacting to a hot target. Then what? You can keep going, but your score is going to suffer. And take it easy in there. I doubted if any of the animals were real. No self-respecting owner would expose his pets to the noise, the stink, and the dirt. There's a clock I always set. Two minutes. That's how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Ever see this piece? Real elite stuff. If it truly belongs to the elite, it won't show up around here. That's a white market item. What do you mean, white market? When something is so valuable, it's sold so fast that it's never even seen on the street. That's the white market. If this piece is real, could only belong to the wife of a very rich man. It's very important that I find out about this. Can you help me? If I see something, and you can match whatever my collectors will pay, it's all yours. Thanks a million. How many illegal automatic weapons move through here? Automatic weapons hold little mystique for me. That's why I don't sell them. Then what are those things in your back room there? Semi-automatic big difference. There was a time when men operated with a code of honor. Guns and rifles weren't necessary. The very presence of a sword was enough to ensure stability. Well, times have changed. I'm looking for some jewelry in the shape of an insect. Your two minutes are up. Have you ever seen this?
I've been tracking Izo for a week, and you ruined my whole play in two seconds. Sorry. I bet you can still catch him if you want. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you wanted him to get away. You crazy? I've been tailing him myself. Little word of advice, Slim. Stay out of my way. Next time, I'm not gonna worry about who's in my line of fire. Understand? Freeze, Yoshi! Ezo. Whatever. Hold it! No, wait! Freeze, Yoshi! Freeze, Yoshi! Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that, that friend of his. A slim blonde man, Asian, with, with a ponytail. Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I don't know them. Were they together? They seemed to be. I saw them talking. Before or after the explosion? Before. I didn't see them at all after. That's all I know, I swear. I wouldn't even know where to find explosives. I, I'm not a violent man. Of course you aren't. You just want to let replicants walk the streets. They're not killers, Detective. They're innocents. They just want to live a decent, productive life like you or me. It's that simple, huh? You know anyone who might sell Ender rifles? There's one other guy around here who dips into that stuff. Got a pawn shop down the street. Goes by the name of Ezo. But who knows what the real title is? Ezo, huh? Sounds like you don't like him. I've been around here a long time, Ray. It always pisses me off when some dilettante sets up shop and tries to horn in on my action. How long has Ezo been around? He's brand new. He's a cold son of a bitch, too. I went over to introduce myself when he first moved in, and he practically ignored me. Said he was too busy to talk. Don't think I didn't consider kicking his ass, too. You say everything's top quality here. Now go for your old buddy Spencer Gregorian, too? I met him a while back. He bought some calfskin gloves from me. Said he wanted to do some gardening. Calfskin? Bow calfskin. Gregorian said you were thrown out of cars for having violent tendencies. Whoever Gregorian is, he's lying. He also said you were a borderline sociopath who ought to be locked up. But I'm inclined to agree. Don't you wish I gave a damn about what you think? I can make you give a damn. <laughs> Let me give you a little word of advice, detective. Stay out of my business. More importantly, stay out of my face. All I'd have to do is make one bid call and you would be shoveling shit off-world for the rest of your career. Talk to me like that some more and you'll be eating it. Perhaps I can interest you in this camera. A hundred years ago, it was a cherished idol. Whole families sat for portraits. I've seen plenty of photographs in my time. Have you ever seen this? World rifles here and more. Grenades, explosives, modern rifles, even some police issue restricted weaponry. Ezo wasn't some small time fence, but a big time arms dealer. The exact arms that renegade replicants would be looking for to survive in the big city.
I am not about to have all my hard work obliterated just because you stumbled into my shop, detective. Westerners need guns and hardware. All I need is will. <clears throat> you blew your retirement loop this time, Slim. What are you doing here? Tracking this piece of shit. What are you doing here besides putting your nuts on the chopping block? Investigating Izo. Maybe we should compare notes. Maybe you should find another line of work. Just in case I'm not around to bail you out next time. I'll wait for the uniforms. Why don't you grab yourself a slice of quiche or something? And pick up a bottle of scotch for the real Blade Runner, will ya? Just kidding, Slim. Nothing more to find. You ever seen anything like these? Those are real beauties. Radiation goggles from the off-world wars. The 2017 model. Would a replicant need something like this? Hell, the skin jobs were the only ones who wore them. The humans weren't allowed to get that close to the flashpoint. UN Command figured it out because the rep's skin held up. But their eyes melted inside two kilometers from ground zero. Where'd you get them from? Ezo. I knew it. I knew that son of a bitch was dirty as soon as he moved in. He's got that cold rep way about him, you know what I mean? Don't jump to conclusions. Sure, sure. Hey, I'd love to be there when you take him down. I could get a photo of it, put it up on my wall of fame. Davy's up there, so's Gaff. Wanna see? Some other time. You ever seen anything like these? Looks like goggles. Would a replicant need something like this? You're asking me about what a skin job would need? Hey, pal. Ask one of your friends. Just answer the question. I hear they give out retirement bonuses to civilians that bag reps. your retirement loot this time, Slim. What are you doing here? Hold it! No, wait! <laughs> Move it! I've been tracking Ezo for a week and you ruined my whole play in two seconds. Sorry. I bet you can still catch him if you want. Blew your retirement loot this time, Slim. Where's Ezo? You're looking for him too? I was at the bar over in Hawker Circle. I saw him pop that flash in your face. Then some lummox got in my way and I didn't see where he disappeared to. He probably went down in the sewers. Right where that dirtbag belongs. I've been tracking Ezo for a week and you ruined my whole play in two seconds. Sorry. I bet you can still catch him if you want. Crawl down that hole and ruin a 20,000 Chinyin Yamamoto suit? I don't think so. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you wanted him to get away. You crazy? I've been tailing him myself. Little word of advice, Slim. Stay out of my way. Next time, I'm not gonna worry about who's in my line of fire. Understand? You got some nice pieces here. Take your time, Ray. Enjoy the goods. I got the best in the city, right here. Anything you want and you don't see, just ask. That a bulletproof vest? It'd stop a slug dead cold. You wouldn't even feel it. How much? 300 chin yin. That's a little steep. Retire a few skin jobs and maybe you'll get a discount. I think I'll pass. You better not come crying to me when you catch a bullet. I'm looking for some ammunition. Nothing but the best. My special blend. 
three times the stopping power of that police issue crap you're packing. Is that right? You betcha. 20 chin yen a clip. You ain't gonna find a better price in this city. You'd spend that much on a day's worth of moldy soya. You want to make it as a Blade Runner? You ought to do your own investigation. How'd you feel about taking a little test? Test? You mean the Voight comp? Yeah, I don't think you're a rep, but I want to... Hey, hey, hey. You don't have to explain. I always wanted to see the machine in action. Go on, set it up. Hey, check out the man's database. Is that the standard model? What, the Kaya? Yeah, it's department issue. I could fix it up for you. Make it not quite so freaking standard if you get my drift. What for? Hey, Ray, relax. I'm your pal, ain't I? You don't have to step soft around me. The department's been infiltrated, right? That's the only way Davy could have been taken out like he was. Holden is good, no question. When you hook into the mainframe, you always give them everything. But you don't always want them to know what you know. Cause then they'd know, you know? What do you say? Sounds like a plan, set it up. There you go. Better than you. I've modified this thing to let you pick and choose what gets uploaded to the police mainframe. Right click on any clues you want to keep to yourself. Ever see shell casings like these? Oh, where'd you find these? They're from an ender. I ain't seen one of these babies in hell, maybe two, three years. Somebody shot up runs at his shop with one. Sucker had it coming. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Hey, check out the man's database. Is that the standard model? What, the Kaya? Yeah, it's department issue. I could fix it up for you. Put your toys away, McCoy. I've had enough. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. So that's it? Yeah. Hey, put that away! I'm gonna put something away, but it ain't gonna be my gun. I'd crossed the line. Bob was a psychopath, but I was almost sure he wasn't a replicant. I didn't have a lot of time, and my options were pretty lousy. Stay and face the music, or take off and hope I didn't get caught. Hey, put that away! I'm gonna put something away, but it ain't gonna be my gun. Little boys shouldn't play with guns. Hey, put that away! I'm gonna put something away, but it ain't gonna be my gun. <laughs> Your child comes home with a black eye. Badge of honor. You have a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. I beat some sense into him, and then toss the collection. Positive result. Subject is replicant. Test terminated. So that's it? Yeah. Hey, put that away! I'm gonna put something away, but it ain't gonna be my gun. Not the talkative type.
Nice looking creatures you have around here. See? Good product. Scorpio's my best work. Finest quality than poison. Isn't that illegal? I have permit, senor. My customers demand authenticity. Handsome man like you has lady friend, of course. Doesn't she deserve a gift? Mega, senor. It's perfect, is it not? A bracelet. My ex used to nag me about how I'd let the dishes sit for days at a time. Mag was a lot more forgiving. You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come back later, maybe I know something more. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. How about you run a tab? This ain't a non-profit operation, buddy. No kale, no sale. Meg. Maggie, Maggie. Ah! Maggie, senor. It's perfect, is it not? I'm a little strapped for cash right now. Too bad for you, Maggie, huh? I don't think she loves me for my money. You hold on to her like life itself, dude. Someone like that is rare to say. Don't I know it. When you hook into the mainframe, you always give them everything. But you don't always want them to know what you know. Cause then they'd know, you know? What do you say? No thanks, I'm saving for a rainy day. Suit yourself. Just remember, Big Mudder's watching. You mean Big Brother? Him too. My friend Shoshana Yuri picked up the Eos Plague from some gunner's space helmet. He was vomiting blood for days. Hey! You're horning into my action, rookie. Take a stroll. Hey! Been pretty busy, haven't you, Slim? Hawker's Circle. She looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Scorpions. Give me a hard copy of that. If there's one thing that gives me the creeps, it's dealing with those freaks on DNA Row. Every one of those genetic design subcons was a borderline schizoid case, exposed to too many chemicals, radiation, or God knows what. It was the price they paid for taking rep technology into the future. Or maybe it was just desserts. The lock had been forced. Tyrell's subcons might have been a little dingy, but I didn't think they'd bust down their own doors if they forgot their keys.
What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help me. It is going to blow. What's behind that door there? Are you crazy? That's a bomb on the chair! Wait, maybe I can disarm it. No! There is no time! And he said, if you touch it... Don't shoot. McCoy, Rep D-Tech, BR-61661. What do you know about this? Got a dead man here. Victim of an explosion. His name is, uh, was Maraji. This is 32 Sector 3, reporting a homicide. Possible act of terrorism. I just couldn't escape the feeling I was being watched. Damn, you keep it cold in here. <laughs> of course cold. What do you expect, heat? Eyes go bad at room temperature. You buy winter coat. Like this, see? Like this. Very comfy. Moraji may be dead. You out chasing skirts. Moraji? What does he work on? Skin. Did skin for Nexus 6. Beautiful work. You go see. That so? He a thermal design across street. You find him? You tell him, I wait. Hey. Go home and get some rest. I'm sure you need it. Hey. You killed anyone yet? Tenants were clearly the oddest of odd couples. 
Half the workspace was tidy, the other half a total disaster area. They certainly looked good. I didn't know art from Kipple, but I did know that real people were never that perfect. I recognized the logo on the envelope. It was definitely Runsitter's animal sales, but I didn't expect to find hundreds of Chinyan inside. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. The killer was an expert. The charge had been big enough to do the job, but not big enough to shatter the soundproof walls of the float chamber. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. You know the moon bus massacre that went down last month? Gaff mentioned something about it. The rogue skin jobs probably flew to Earth. And one of them is a demolitions expert, similar M.O. to your Vic upstairs. Hell of a coincidence. I'll call you if I find out anything more about your case. It was something you didn't see too often. A precise, shaped explosion fashioned for minimum collateral damage. The son of a bitch was a pro. Someone with real munitions expertise. And that expertise could only come with extensive, on-the-job, off-world training. Plastic and wires, not human and not a replicant, and I wasted another bullet. The computer was locked down with what looked like a modified Tyrell security device. Voice recognition, palm print, the works. There's no way I was getting into this guy's files. Resuming interrupted print job. The suspect was definitely looking for something at the Bradbury. Nothing else there. The reps were regular Boy Scouts. The knots were tighter than my grandma on New Year's Eve.